Six, perhaps a change in policy after San Jose threatened to find charity groups who were feeding the homeless. The idea was to clean up St. James Park. Our Kit Doe is there and says, at least for now, both sides are talking about this. Kit? Yeah, the uh, big headline, headline to come out of this meeting is that there was an August 5th deadline where San Jose police were set to start writing citations and busting people for feeding the homeless here in the park. That deadline is completely off the table now, pushed back indefinitely. Tensions have been rising between the homeless advocates and the city, and today they met to try and begin to hash things out. Officially, today was a food service provider partner meeting where nearly three dozen people, including the housing department, Parks and Rec, San Jose Police, along with a host of homeless service providers, gathered to talk about how to get the homeless, who've been hanging out in St. James Park for decades, into nearby soup kitchens. We're committed to working to find solutions that meet the needs of all San Jose residents. We want St. James to be a park for all, uh, and we want to make sure that we're connecting people with the resources that they need to not only survive, but to end their homelessness in the long term. Last month, the city announced it was cracking down on the feeding of the homeless at St. James, a longtime tradition for churches and Good Samaritans. The city argues food alone won't solve homelessness, and that the homeless are better served if they also get so-called wraparound services, help finding housing and counseling for drug addiction and mental problems. Churches and homeless advocates pushed back, saying the feeding ban was inhumane and staged feedings anyway in protest. Is this meeting enough to quell some of the unrest? amongst advocates no no this is just we're just scratching the surface you guys still plan on fighting this feeding ban yeah all the way to the nail to the end san jose police say issuing fines and citations is a last resort and that open dialogue with homeless advocates just might avoid any confrontations we hope that by continuing to bring them to the table and give them a voice provide them with an opportunity to help us find solutions that we can avoid uh, the need for them to really want to take a stand at St. James Park. And there's been a lot of chatter on both sides about building some sort of centrally located building with those uh, so-called wraparound services. Whether or not there's funding and political will to pull that off remains to be seen. We will have to wait and see how this plays out in the months and years ahead. And we're live in downtown San Jose. Kit Doe, KPIX 5.